What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at lead code problem number 1212 team scores in football tournament. This one is marked as medium. Let's get into it. So this one is about football as in soccer and we have some big tournaments coming up in the future so this one's going to be exciting for football fans and we have two tables one called teams and one called matches. So we have teams and their ID and name in the teams table and we have matches as matches being played in that football tournament. So we have a match ID for each match, host team, guest team, the goals that the host scores, scored and the goals that the guests scored. So we pretty much have the results of these matches in there with a given match ID. Our task is to compute the scores of all teams after all matches. Points are awarded as follows. A team receives three points if they win a match. They score strictly more goals than the opponent team, not the same. It has to be more. A team receives one point if they draw a match, if they have the same number of goals, and a team receives no points if they lose a match, if they score less goals than the opponent team. These are standard football rules, by the way. Yeah, these are what's applied in World Cup, league games, amateur leagues, pretty much everywhere. Our task, again, is to write an escrow query that selects the team ID, team name and number of points each team in the tournament after all matches. The result table should be ordered by num points in decreasing order and in case of a tie we should order that by team ID in increasing order. So the result should look something like this, having a team ID, team name and the number of points that team made throughout the tournament. Let's get into coming up with our solution. So to sum it up, our task is pretty much to calculate a scoreboard for that tournament. How many points did each team achieve in that tournament up to that point? And we have a table that gives us information about how they performed in their matches. And another table that tells us the team's name given their ID. So let's think about this. So we know that team receives three points if they win one if they draw and zero if they lose. So now it's just about finding that information in our matches table and summing up the points they received, right? What can be tricky here is that a team can either be host team or guest team. So they can show up in separate columns, but we still need to somehow add each point they made as a host team or a guest team. Yeah, and them being in separate columns can be a bit tricky, so we're gonna take care of that right now. Let's start off by selecting what we need in our output which would be team ID and team name just as identifiers and these are both in the teams table but we'll also need matches to know how they performed in matches so we're gonna need to join these in a while and num points yeah is what we should come up with pretty much. So we're selecting from teams, joining matches on team ID. Okay, so we have team ID in teams and then it's either going to show up in host team or guest team since they're using the team ID in there. So it should be matches.host team or it could be the guest team. So let's just copy paste that here, that condition, and we're gonna match entries in this table if we have a match in host team or guest team. All right, so now let's take care of these points somehow. Let's create some space here to think about it. And let's maybe just go through our cases. So a team can either be a host or a guest team. They can either win, lose, or draw. If they draw, they're not gonna make any points. So there's no point in really capturing that because we're just gonna add zero to our account. And yeah, we might as well add nothing to our account. It's not gonna change the count. So let's create some if or case statements to look at host goals and guest goals, see if host goals is higher than guest goals 
as in the first match, that means host team gets three points. So let's go through that case of the host team winning. So we're going to use if here in MySQL since it's very short. You could case you could use case when then in other SQL dialects. And let's say if our team ID matches the ID in host team, that means yeah, we're looking at the host team here. And if that host team has more goals scored, strictly more goals scored than the guest, then this will be three points and otherwise zero. Okay. Next case is going to be the guest team winning. So let's call that home wins. And create another one of these where the team is the guest team and the guest has more goals than the home team. They're also going to get three points. So that team ID that is the guest team is going to count three, team, uh, three goals for them, uh, three points for them if they have more goals and call that away wins. Maybe I should use the terms here, host and guest. It's just one other way of saying it, right? That should be even clearer. And it should be, it should work. Let's, let's get rid of num wins, num points for a while and see if that runs. So we have each team ID, team name, wins and guest wins. So we have lead code FC in here getting three points for the home victory which is probably the first entry. Team ID 10. Yes. Um, output doesn't look that well structured yet so let's just add more cases and then sum up in the end and it should look way nicer. So we're going to add the case of a tie in here by doing that for the host team and away team and comparing goals in terms of being the exact same number. So if they scored, if two teams scored one goal, the game is going to end 1-1 one, one, and they're both going to get one point. We have a case in here for match ID 2 where they both scored two goals and yeah, that's the same case gonna get one point and let's call that host ties and then let's do the same thing for the guest team so that the guest team gets points as well yeah we don't need to exchange that and we'll call that guest ties so this should give us more columns and points capturing each of these cases. Again, we're not doing that for losses because for a loss you get zero points and that's not going to add to your point tally. So now we'll just sum these up by adding sum in here. Remove these aliases and don't forget to group by team ID. So if we do that, let's copy that. This should calculate the, cal uh, the sum. So if we do that, that should calculate the sum for each team if we group by team ID. And if we add all of these, by just using plus here, we're gonna calculate the entire sum of their points they had as a host team winning, as a guest team winning, as a host team tying, and as a away team or guest team tying. So this will give us the entire overall 
point count for each team. You don't need to add losses because these will just add zero. So let's see what that gives us. Let's see if we have any errors in here. We have a very long name for that field, so let's just call that num points again for number of points they have and see what that gives us. It's not accepted yet since we only have four teams in here. New York FC, Liquid FC, Atlanta FC and Toronto FC. If we take a look at the difference, these values are actually correct. Not ordered yet, but we're missing Chicago FC, which has zero points. And that is the case because Chicago FC didn't play a single game yet. They don't show up in the matches table. If we look at host team or guest team, there's no 40 in there, which is the ID of Chicago FC. That means they didn't participate in any games yet. So in order to have all teams in here, regardless of whether they played a match or not, we need to use a left join. Left joining teams on matches, so all teams are included regardless of whether they even had a match. So if we run that again, we should include Chicago FC, which is perfect. So we have Chicago FC in there now with a zero value as a point tally because sum is going to take care of that together with if. So no null, but zero, which is perfect. Now we just need to order by number of points and in case of tie, the team ID. So let's just add our order by clause, saying we want to order by num points, decreasing order. So we want to use the sending keyword because it's ascending by default if we leave that out. And if we add a comma, after that we can have the second priority of ordering, which in this case would be team ID in increasing order. Increasing order means ascendingly, so we're going to use ASC here to denote that and if we run that it's hopefully accepted. It is and if we submit it it's going to be an accepted solution as well. And that's pretty much it for the problem. It's a bit tricky and it's a bit counterintuitive to assign zero here because if you're a host team having as many goals as the away team you're gonna get one point and if not zero, but imagine being on the other side, you're still going to get points if you're the weight team. That is going to be captured in another row and that's how it's handled here. It's yeah, not the most intuitive question. I think it's at least medium, maybe even hard. So maybe don't expect a problem this complicated about football rules in your interviews, but it's still a good practice to have. Anyways, that's going to be it for me today. If you want to study more medium, easy or hard problems, check out my video playlist on each of these difficulties because I have videos in each of these playlists for lead code problems of that difficulty. And also make sure to subscribe if you want to have these videos in a sub feed and get reminded to study. I aim for around three videos a week so you should get notified or just see them when they come out. And hope I'll see you on all these videos. Until then.